Well, greetings all. We're coming at you from the campground here. Looks like we got a beautiful day on our hands here. A little cloud cover, but it's been kind of mixed lately. We've been getting some afternoon uh, thunderstorms for a while there, then they kind of let up. Had one yesterday, so hoping they come back because things have gotten pretty dry around here. But we got a quiet day in camp here. I think we've got only one camper in the campground and uh, they're around the backside there. So up front here, it's pretty quiet. But something I haven't mentioned before, if you see around here behind me, that's our dumpster there, but also these cars parked, that is not part of the campground. That is a uh, U.S. Forest Service trailhead parking lot. So I'll turn the camera around here and we'll tell you a little bit more about what that's, what's up there. So this is our dumpster that gets emptied uh, every Wednesday, which is awesome. It does tend to fill up. A lot of people do come down here from just the area, disperse campers that and use it. And I'm okay with that because I'd rather have them dumping in the dumpster than in the forest. So why these cars are here is there is a trailhead. It's called Big Fish Lake Trail or Big Fish Creek Trail. And it's a three mile hike up along a creek that uh, ends at a lake. And you can go beyond that. There's more wilderness, but that is the flat top wilderness. You cross a sign so you're no longer in the White River National Forest like you are here. And uh, it's a real, supposed to be a really nice hike, three miles out, so with a six mile round trip. So what happens here is a lot of these cars, well, these cars I know for a fact, are out up at that lake uh, camping. So we'll have a lot of vehicles here parked uh, for a few days in a row. So it's kind of nice, I'm up front, I can keep an eye on them, but it's generally a pretty safe area. So what this big horse trailer is, this is a private outfit that does these tours. This guy just showed up, he was here yesterday. He took out a group, this guy, these guys here, for just an overnight. So the way it works is, you know, it's obviously a private thing. It's probably pretty expensive, but this guy comes out here, meets you out here, and he sets you up on the horses and rides out to the lake with you. And then if you're gonna spend the weekend there tent camping, fishing and that, he drops you off, brings us the horses back, and then he leaves and then comes back a few days later, rides out with the horses, picks you up, and then you horse back back here. So there's very often cars just parked here for a few days in a row, sometimes weeks. Some people will do week-long trips. And then there's a lot of day trip outfits that just go out to the lake. You have lunch and come back. So it's always pretty active up here, and I'm pretty close to up front. So um, there's a little bit of action. Sometimes it's a little annoying because when these guys are unloading their horses or unloading them up, they're in that trailer stomping, and it's just a heck of a racket. But I love horses, so it's cool to see. So that's that, and I have yet to hike out to that lake there. So I've got a buddy in camp, Todd. You've seen him in a previous video. We're going to go hike out to the lake, try to do some fishing, although we hear the fishing is not very good at the lake. It used to be years ago, but uh, times have changed. So we're going to get geared up, get out there, see how it is. Okay, we got a beautiful day on our hands out here, heading out into the flat top wilderness. Flat tops wilderness, right near our campsite here, the campground. Going back out into it. There's a creek that runs along here, and then a lake up at the end, about three miles up. We're not sure how far we're going. Got the fishing gear with us. Just gonna get out. Okay, we've only been hiking a little ways, but we found a, a really cool spot. This trail goes along uh, Big uh, Fish Creek, which is fed by Big Fish Lake, which is about three miles up. So we're going to hang out here for a little bit, take a break, do a little fishing. Trail's been nice. It's kind of been a combination of uh, fully exposed and then there's little sections of aspens like this where you get shade. It just happens to be a breeze coming through. Ah, so awesome out here. So we're running right along the creek side, the creek here. The creek's just over that little ridge. So we're gonna move on, probably try to get to the lake. It's three miles. We've kind of been going slow. We'll see how it goes.
Now, I've been waiting for this. The raspberries are just starting to come out. And we're up a little higher, up above the campground. We're starting to see more. They're tasty already. Well, we're still at it here. I think we're about halfway up to the lake and we're just finding really nice spots to stop and take breaks. And this is one of them here. Check it out. This waterfall coming down this hillside. All right, we've got to be getting close. Just did a pretty steep climb. I feel like we're gonna come through here and see the lake pretty soon. Whew. Yeah, that got me. We're up at about uh, 9,300 feet elevation. Camp is 88, 8,900. Another shady stretch here through the trees. I think we're getting pretty close. We're at about uh, 9,300 feet. I should be right up through these trees here, just around the bend, they say. All right, well, we made it to the lake. It is pretty epic. It opens up here and we're surrounded by these big rock cliffs. Check this out. Don't shake on me. Well, we spent a little bit of time here at Big Fish Lake. It is beautiful. Uh, did some fishing, no luck. And the word is that the fishing isn't so hot up here, but it is just a beautiful destination to hike to. Got a little bit of drizzle just now, so we're gonna go ahead and start heading back to camp. Look at this place, so. Pretty cool. All right, we got three miles ahead of us. Nice view on the way back as well. It'd be downhill the whole way. It was a real gradual incline coming up and then there's a little bit of a steep section right here. I'll climb down that and be smooth sailing. It's beautiful out. There's little side little streams coming in off the mountain. So cool. Size one. Yeah, that's the biggest one today. Yeah, for sure. that's, that's a that's nice a rainbow. rainbow. Is that a keeper or what? It's definitely a keeper size. Yeah, that's a good size. Pretty. That's beautiful. Okay, I got a nice rainbow on the spinner bait. Fishing's decent right here. Okay, we went down to the creek and caught dinner. A couple of rainbow trout there. 
And you got those on the grill. Just use some lemon pepper seasoning, butter, a little salt. Wrap it up, throw it on the grill. All right, so there they are off the grill. There was plenty of butter in there and uh, they're seeming like they're, they're pretty well done. We'll scoop up some of that skin. Look at that. Yeah, that's flaking apart. All right, I'm gonna focus on this so we can get the bones out of there. Looking good though. All right, so we got the uh, bones out there. Let's give it a try. Dang. I remember trout being really fishy. It's not fishy at all. Super strong with the lemon pepper, but nice and meaty. That was a good sized fish. Might do a little bit of this stuff too. Well, I just wanted to thank you all for hanging out with me in this video and joining us on the hike up to the lake there. It was a real special place. I'll probably be back. And I have to say that trout was probably the best trout I've had in my life. It was just so good, not a strong fishy flavor, just super meaty and good. So here in this area, there is a two trout limit uh, per person per day. So that's quite a bit of trout if I'm out there fishing every day. So I think I might be stockpiling some trout in the freezer. I enjoyed it so much. So we'll probably be seeing some more uh, trout dinners here in the future. Uh, anyway, we're going to wrap this one up, keep it short. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Probably be showing more around the campground here and some of my duties as a campground host. And uh, just to talk a little bit more about the job and how it's been going, dealing with the campers and that, and how it's going to wrap up. Uh, talk about the length of the season. So I hope to see you in the next video. For now, take care, guys. We'll see you soon. Peace.